Today we're going to cover factoring trinomials. Now, yesterday we went over factoring by grouping. And this is when you see a polynomial with four terms in it. Okay, here's two terms and here's two terms. Now, each of these terms is part of a bigger picture. So what we're going to do is we are going to group um, two, two sets of terms, okay? So we have one set of terms here and one set of terms here. Now when you look at these terms, and again this is a review, when you look at these terms you need to ask yourself what do they have in common? Well, these two terms have a 3x in common. And remember, you're not um, adding or subtracting, you're actually dividing these. So what you're doing is you're going to go through and 3x squared divided by 3x is x. Now how do you know if you're correct? The best thing to do is when you do division, you get an answer. When you multiply, you're going to go back to your original problem. So 3x times x is 3x squared. You know you've done it right. Now divide here. 3x divided by 3x is 1. You use the same sign that's in your original problem. So again, double check. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times 1 is 3x. And remember, this is called the distributive property. Now we jump over to here. Look at these two terms. What do they have in common? When you look at it, you see they have a minus 2 in common. Now, here's a little key. Whatever sign is here, that's what you're going to use here. It really helps to keep things organized. Then do your division. Negative 2x divided by negative 2 is a positive x. Negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1. Always double check. Negative 2 times x is a negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is a negative 2. Now we've grouped and we factored. Now we have to factor one more time. When we factor out, we see that these two sets of parentheses are identical. You want them always to be identical. So we're going to factor those out. When I take x plus 1 out of this term, I have 3x left. When I take um, x plus 1 out of this term, I end up with a minus 2. So whatever is left, this and this, that goes in your other set of parentheses. Okay, now we did all this yesterday, so this should all just be review. Factoring by grouping, you see four terms, you group each set, factor out what they have in common, and factor that common factor out again and show me what's left. Okay, now this new type of factoring is called factoring trinomials. And this one, the whole goal is to get our problem so it looks like a factoring by grouping polynomial, which means it has to have four parts. So what we're gonna do is I wrote down the steps and we're gonna follow this step by step. So here's our first problem, 2x squared plus 5x plus 3. Now this is very similar to factoring a trinomial with no number in front. But as you can see, there's a number in front of this trinomial. This one has a 2 in front of the leading coefficient. Okay? This number right here is considered a. It's a coefficient. It's the number in front of x squared. This 5 is shown as b. We call it b. This constant we call C, okay? And it will always be in that order. A, B, and C, A is on the X squared term, B is on the X term, C is a constant. So it will always be in that order. So let's take this step by step. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply the A coefficient times the C coefficient. So the first times the last. So two times three, you get six. And we're gonna place this in our diamond. And remember, we, we learned this when we were factoring trinomials where the leading coefficient was 1. All right, now this diamond is just helps us set up the pattern, okay? So at the top, you put your product of a times c, whatever that number is, you're going to put that at the top. At the bottom, you put b. b is for bottom. So b goes at the bottom. On the sides, you have to come up with a set of numbers, factors, and remember a factor is uh, two numbers that can be multiplied, that when you multiply you get six, when you add you get five. 
Now, here's the key. Watch your signs, all right? When you see that this bottom number is a positive, you have two options. When you multiply, you either multiply a positive times a positive to get a positive, or a negative times a negative to get a positive. Okay, so that's one set of options. So we can um, rule this second option out because the only time you're gonna use that is when your bottom number is a negative. Okay, so with this example, bottom number is positive. This is the only way to get a positive answer when you multiply positive answer when you um, add. So let's go through our factors. Six, one times six. Ask yourself, when you add those, you're gonna get seven. Those aren't gonna work. How about two and three? Oh look, two and three, two times three is six, two plus three is five. Now here's the difference between factoring trinomials when the leading coefficient is a one. Here's the big change. Before, we would just use these two, set up our two sets of parentheses and plug them in. Well now what we're gonna do is because we have a leading coefficient, we need to rename this middle term. Remember what I said the goal was? The goal was to get a, a form of a polynomial that has, um, where you can factor by grouping. And the only way to do that is to have four terms. So we are going to rename this middle term using these two factors right here, okay? So I have 2x squared, that just comes straight down. I'm going to rename 5x as 2x and 3x. And then I just bring this one down, okay? That's the only difference. All I did is I renamed 5x as 2x and 3x using the two factors that I came up with, okay? Now, this should look extremely familiar to you, um, factoring by grouping. We have a polynomial with four terms. These two terms have something in common, and these two terms have something in common. Okay, so here we go. What's in common of 2x squared and 2x? They both have a 2x. You're doing division. 2x squared divided by 2x is x. 2x divided by 2x is 1. Double check. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times 1 is 2x. Same thing over here. 3x and 3, what's in common is a 3. Division. 3x divided by 3 is an x. 3 divided by 3 is a 1. Double check again. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 1 is 3. Now, you factor it out again. These two are identical. So I'm going to factor that off. What do I have left here? I have a 2x. What do I have left here? I have a 3. And we're done. Now, how do you check? All you do, this should look very familiar to you. We did a whole chapter on multiplying polynomials. This is a binomial times a binomial, and we will use the FOIL method. Now, I won't take the time today to go over that, but you go ahead and do that. First times first, out times out, in times in, and last times last. And you will end up with this exact same equation. Let's try one more. This one has a different sign in the middle. So it's 8x squared minus 11x plus 3. We're going to go th through this fairly quickly. First step, multiply a times c. 8 times 3 is 24. b is for bottom, goes on the bottom. Here is where we have an issue. We have a positive product and a negative sum. So when we want a positive product, we have to use negative times negative. Because when you add two negatives, you're going to get a negative answer. So let's go. We want them both negative. Well, negative 1 plus a negative 24 is a negative 25. Those won't work. How about negative 2 and negative 12? Um, you get a negative 14. Won't work. We're looking for a negative 11. How about a negative 3 and a negative 8? There it is. Negative 3 plus negative 8 is negative 11. 
Now, what I want you to keep in mind, though, is we want to find something in common between here and these two. Well, look, here's a negative 8. So I'm going to write this first. So my first term comes down. Remember, we're renaming our negative 11 as negative 8x and negative 3x. Now we're to factor by grouping. We're going to group the, these two and group these two. What's in common? 8x. Doing your division, 8x squared divided by 8x is x. 8x divided by 8x is negative 1. And remember, just use the same sign. It's a minus sign here, minus sign here. Same thing over here. Use that sign. We're going to factor out a negative 3. So we end up with x minus 1. And remember, you can always double check. 8x times x is 8x squared. 8x times a negative 1 is negative 8x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive 3. Last step. These two are identical. We're going to pull those off of each set of terms. What's left here? We have an 8x. What's left here? We have a minus 3. And there's our answer. And again, FOIL will work to check your answer. Okay, that's factoring trinomials. Um, we're going to do lots and lots of these in class, and the more you do, the better you're going to be. Thank you for your